<laughs> Wait, what? All right, let's do this. What up, B geeks and dudes and dudettes? My name is DB Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Watch the Seven Deadly Sins. Yes, guys, as promised, we're going to be continuing this series, and I can't wait as I thoroughly enjoyed the first episode. Being introduced to the characters of Melodious. Um, I'm, I will get the pronunciation of their names right, don't worry. Uh, Princess Elizabeth. Hawk the pig and this massive green pig which turns out to be where their little bar is situated. I think that's basically where Melodia stays. But now they have formed a union as Princess Elizabeth was on a quest to find the seven deadly sins for assistance and she had found Melodius, who turns out to be one of the strongest members of the seven deadly sins. And they've already had encounters with Twiggo, who was this really overpowerful character, um, but turns out wasn't enough for Melodius. Um, I'm probably butchering his name, so I do apologize. I will get the pronunciation, like I said. And I can't wait to get back into this, guys. I'm really enjoying it. Like, I mean, the first episode gave me really good first impressions. Like I said, I love the whole medievalness of it. I love the whole concept of knights and armor and all that good stuff and myths and legends. That's the kind of stuff I was always been interested in, and to see that in an anime makes me so excited. And knowing that there's two seasons of this makes me even more excited. And the fact that all of you guys in the comments are telling me that, you know, I'm in for a treat, this is a show that you know I will love personally just from experiencing what I enjoy on this channel. That makes me happy. It really does. I love seeing those comments. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for making this more exciting for me to watch. And I can't freaking wait. Now, as you all know, this is not going to be the reaction on YouTube as it's going to be a redirect because of copyright. And you know how crap that can be on YouTube. So what it's going to be is a redirect for you guys in the description below to uh, my mega account and Google Drive and Facebook. So there's three different links there you can watch the reaction to. And then you can stay here if you like, if you've already seen the reaction or you have no interest in the reaction, you just want to see a review, stay here as I will be getting to the review momentarily. So dudes, that's all I have to say about the introduction to this episode. Let's get into it. I can't freaking wait. So without further ado, let's watch The Seven Deadly Sins. Lion's Kingdom and Imperial City. One month ago. Alright guys, so as usual, the link for the reaction is down in the description box below that will link you to my mega account where you can watch my reaction to this episode. Get hyped dudes because I really loved it. And of course, just to let you guys know, if you want to get access for two more episodes which will be dropping tomorrow on Patreon for Patreon Warriors, become a warrior today, get access to these episodes in advance, early access, that's the beauty of it. Get onto that right now if you want to get more episodes episodes frequently from me DV Geek. Anyways I hope you guys enjoy the reaction and of course don't forget to come back here to watch the review and my thoughts on it afterwards. Thanks a lot dudes! Search for our friends. Okay I mean wow. That's all I'm saying. Wow. <laughs> okay I know I'm in for a treat. Dudes, I'm in for a treat. Okay. Alright guys, so before we get into the next episode, I want to talk about this one and how I felt about it. Uh, Miliodas' character already to me seems so... I want to say different from any protagonist that I've seen. There is a lot of elements that remind me of other characters from different shonen. But he's definitely unique in his own respect. I mean, this... I want to say kid, but he's not a kid, but this guy, he's so relaxed, he's so cool, he's so calm and collected, and he's with it, but at the same time, he's in his own little world, he's in his own little place, 
everything is the way he likes to see it and everything just goes the way he wants it to go because he goes with the flow with everything which is so cool about his character and I love that but not to mention that he's a huge perverted weirdo um, <laughs> that gets poor Elizabeth to dress up in the skimpiest outfits and so he can just stare at her all day I mean it's weird at first knowing that he looked like a kid, but now knowing that he's not actually a kid, it's not weird, but he's so pervy, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, some of the, I mean that line in particular that he that she he wanted Elizabeth to repeat. Like really? Really? I mean that's that's hilarious and it's weird and it's it's whatever. It's funny. I find it hilarious. Not many people would find some fan service stuff, some, especially when it's a little bit too far in regards to fan service. People don't really take to that very well, but I, I see the humor in it. I do, I do. So I appreciate that. But let's get to the real awesome scenes in this. I mean, when this holy knight threw that sphere, I was just like, what? What in the heck? The power behind this dude is immense. And then we get cut to a scene where Meliodas is there in the bar and he senses something. So he takes a casual stroll outside and he sees Elizabeth there. And she starts talking to him. But he's not really concerned with her. He's concerned about what's, uh, about what's to come. Which is a spear that comes flying down. And I said it would be so cool if he catches it. And that's exactly what he did. Now, I actually was expecting him to catch it with ease, but no, that didn't happen. He caught it, but that spear kept going and blasted him to the ground. But he managed to catch it all the same and throw it back. So much farther and so much faster to the point that he almost hit the Holy Knight. As a matter of fact, he grazed him on the cheek, but... The Holy Knight just sat there with a smile on his face and he said, I knew it. The seven deadly sins. Mel Melodias is, you're still alive. Like, he is aware of him. He knows him. They obviously have history. Um, but now they're going to take themselves elsewhere. They're going to take themselves to this forest that even the Holy Knights won't go to. So I really don't see how that's a good idea. And like, the start of this episode, I know I should have been talking about that first, but... When they come to a small village, it's kind of like something that you would see when you play out through uh, an RPG. I mean, when you play the Elder Scrolls, you always seem to come across a small village first. And usually the villagers have a problem. You help them with the problem because it's really genuinely pretty easy mission because it's the first real mission. And you do it and you get rewarded for it or whatever. And that's kind of what this was, this episode. It was kind of them stumbling upon this village and helping them to, you know, obviously introduce another character, which is the Holy Knight, which is obviously going to be a main key antagonist in this um, show, I'm guessing. Uh, but now they're progressing to the next location. So I like where this is going. It's very basic. It's very simple so far. But the action is top notch. It's 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 got a lot of comedy in there. There's fan service. Like everything I said I like in an anime. It's there. So, so far, so good. But now, dudes, we're going to be delving into the next episode, which is episode 3. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's in this forest and why the Holy Knights want to stay away from it so much. So, guys, let's get into the next episode. So, without further ado, let's watch The Seven Deadly Sins.